And, uh, you know, tough, tough matchup against Phoenix. Tough matchup against Phoenix. Um, obviously, they're coming off a big win uh, against Vegas. Um, monster game from BG and Skyler. So, you know, a, again, another challenge that it presents for us. Um, we're kind of shorthanded without Steph and Ezzy. So, um, you know, it'll be a challenge for us to, you know, just get through this game, get through this um, time um, within kind of different rotations a little bit, but understanding um, this is a tall task that we have today and, you know, a couple of games left before the break. So um, very, very big game for us. All right, let's go ahead and open it up for questions. Percy, why don't you kick us off? Awesome. Hey, Coach, yeah, um, if you can, could you uh, handicap next week's three-point challenge? <laughs> <laughs> go, go with Jewel the whole way. Let's go. <laughs> I mean, you know, but there's some... Um, Talented. So, uh, you know, so we got Jewel, right? And so we got Sammy, yeah. uh, John Quill Jones, and um, Allie. So yourself, uh, for your career, did you shoot, were you, uh, I, I thought you're like 30, what, where were you, like 35%, 34% three, three-point shooter, right? It, it, it wasn't really your thing, but, or was it? It was until they moved the line back. <laughs> then it was <laughs> I was, you know, my first few years in the league, um, at one point when I played for the Sparks, I was actually leading the league in three-point percentage, but then oh, as as the wow. line went back. I don't know what happened, Percy. <laughs> okay. So yeah. just, be, be, you know, between those four, um, it would seem that Sammy, you know, style, just the way, I mean, that's more adapt for a contest like that because she can get up a lot, but can she do it accurately? Allie obviously has been in it before just from your, I mean, I'm just really, you know, this is for next week, obviously. Yeah. Is, yeah. No, it's, um, it's interesting because when you put the rack, you know, you, you put, you, you think about uh, taking the ball off the rack and shooting in that manner. Um, you know, Sammy's a quick shooter, you know, we called her slang and Sammy, she, she gets that thing off fast, but then there's an adjustment, you know, picking the ball off the rack and, you know, Allie has the leg up because she's been in the competition, um, so, you know, it, it just is just a different way of shooting that kind of is super, you know, it'll be interesting because the game shots are really, really different from contest shots. Though, you know, I, Sammy, can we do the over and under how fast Sammy's going to finish? <laughs> you yeah. know what I mean? Like, but it, it'll be interesting because you have to slow down a little bit. You have to pick up the ball um, and you have to distinguish like which way you want to pick it up. So a lot of little intricacies, intricacies involved in that. Yeah, and I remember when Sue did it a few years ago when the contest was in, well, when the game was in Seattle, mm -hmm. it was pretty much that same thing, that even though Sue's such a great three-point shooter in that type of deal, it, it takes her a while to get her shot going. Mm -hmm. And I was kind of wondering with Jewel that same way. Obviously, I mean, she's got a really silky smooth shot, but mm -hmm. is it, you know, I guess conducive to that type of yeah. format? I mean, with Jewel, we might have to just put some defense out there. We know <laughs> we know that she can make those shots with a hand in her face. No, you're right. There's, you know, obviously there's a level of, um, you know, preparation that goes involved. And I think, you know, these guys are probably, you know, game planning right now on how to best, you know, help themselves within the contest. But you're right. You, you can have great three-point in-game shooters that really um, have challenges within these contests. So, um like I said, I'm still picking Jewel, but it's going to be interesting with great shooter, great lineup of shooters, but how they uh, adjust to that rack. You're still picking Jewel. Still picking Jewel. All, <laughs> all right. Hey, just in terms of to, to nice game, um, uh, you don't have any Aussies for, uh, Aussies for either team. Mm -hmm. um, how, how do you think their absence will affect this game? Greatly. You know, um, they're playing at a high level for us, especially Ezzy. You know, I've, um, th those the two games we had against LA, her ability to shot block, her ability to um, change the, the speed of the game, the tempo of the game, running up and down the floor, running her lanes hard, and then her defensive presence um, worked a little bit thin um, in the front line today. Um, trying to, you know, hold down BG. So that that's first and foremost. And then Steph, you know, she's been super efficient from the three point line. Um, she's been very aggressive and physical defensively. So, I mean, those are two players that really impact our rotations, impact what we our production offensively and defensively. And, it, you know, it's huge for us.
Hey, uh, since you guys released Candace, uh, you've you've gotten really good production off of your banks, uh, 39, 28, and 21. You're losing two tonight. Um, uh, who will have to step up? Yeah, um, Kennedy Burke gets a chance. You know, um, Piff, you know, gets some more minutes. She, she didn't get a lot the other day, but, you know, we saw what she, we, that sh what she can do um, in L.A., um, and obviously with, throughout the course of her career, you know, um, we've got to make shift some of our lineups, you know, Sierra's here, she get a chance again, um, some small lineups, you know, we have to kind of just work with what we have, but it, it's, it's interesting, you know, we think about how we match up against Phoenix, but how would they match up against us? And that's going to be our mindset today. Um, try to take advantage of the things that we put out on the floor and make them adjust to what we put out. Wow, so I, I just look I just looked it up. You were a thirty two point uh, two percent three point shooter for your career. All right, before or after the line, let's look that one up. <laughs> <laughs> before or after the line, the three point line will move back a little bit. Let mm -hmm. me know next time, Percy. <laughs> I'll let you call it. All right, thank you. All right, thanks. Yeah, and uh, Jewel might have you beat. She's thirty five percent. So um, let's go with Jeff Brown. Jeff, go ahead. Hey, Coach, how are you doing today? I'm well, how are you, Jeff? I'm good, thank you. Good. Um, so last time you guys played Vegas, you essentially had Mercedes shadow Liz Cambage. So if, if Liz was going out, Sadies was going out. Um, can you do that same thing tonight with Griner, even though Griner plays about 10 minutes more per game? Yeah, you know, I, I alerted Ezzy, I'm sorry, I alerted Sadies today in shoot around that um, that's the plan to kind of um, shadow BG, but also I told her she's playing long quarters. She, you know, she doesn't, she didn't come out. She doesn't come out for long stretches and Sadie's is like, okay, cool. I'm ready. You know? Um, and if we, if we are able to take advantage of that in the sense of, you know, um, having, keeping her matched up on BG without foul trouble, it, it works great. Um, if we, again, talking about our matchups, if we have to go small at that point, you know, that's Stewie guarding BG, obviously we're going to disrupt in a way, but then what does, how does BG guard Stewie? You know, so kind of just thinking about the advantages that we may have on the offensive end, but understanding who are really thin and Sadie's has to stay out of foul trouble and guard her kind of with her mind as well as her physicality. Definitely. And then just uh, like two or three keys to this game to get to pull out the victory. Yeah, we have to keep them off the free throw line. Obviously, we know they're top um, in the league at uh, free throw attempts. Um, disrupting and staying attached to uh, BG as well as Skyler. Um, you know, they 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 have a slow pace. They like to slow the, the game down, and they have a lot of offensive firepower, a lot of offensive sets. So um, we would like to see um, them uh, speed the game up a little bit more on our side but also make them defend a little bit. You know, they're not as um, interested in playing defense. Um, so, you know, we know we can get a lot of good stuff, but obviously limiting limiting them to one shot, getting into our running game is going to be huge. Awesome. Thank you, Coach. Hey, thanks, Jeff. And uh, M Adler, go ahead, M. Hi, Coach. I just wanted to ask first, I assume we'll be seeing a few Nadia, jo Nadia Jones minutes on this game, possibly? Yes, possibly as well. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Uh, so obviously, you know, in college, she was, she was, she was, uh, she played big. She played either the forward spots or center. Sometimes she was really do everything big for them. What does she do for you? What roles does she fill? Yeah, uh, it's, it's very interesting because in training camp, I didn't, you know, we didn't see what Indy can bring in her collegiate career. Meaning when she came to camp, she was she has a mind for basketball. She's very smart. She picked up our concept so fast. She was rebounding like heck. You know, she was going crashing the boards hard on the offense and in de defensive end. So she has a knack for the ball. And I think that's one thing that we can utilize, you know, to our strength, to her strength, um, is that understanding, um, you know, the ins and outs of our offense and defense, but also getting extra possessions um, by going to get some offense or rebounds or just securing possessions on the defensive end. And then um, wanted to ask Brianna Turner. Obviously, presents um, she, she's obviously one of the best power forwards or really big defenders in the league. She presents a different sort of challenge for you guys and Stewie specifically going up against her. I was just wondering what how that compares to like going up against Asia, for example, or Fee. Yeah, I mean, for this team, uh, Turner is second in blocks. You know, after BG, and obviously her length bothers a lot of teams. She's able to guard multiple 
actions and, and players because of, she, of her mobility and then her, you know, her shot block timing is amazing. Um, I think she's, you know, she just has a little bit of what every, all those players that you just mentioned is just like rolled into one. So she can be physical, she can block shots, um, she's mobile. Um, and so to me, that presents a, a, a big challenge because um, of her versatility defensively. So understanding, you know, sometimes with Stewie, I know she has matches, mismatches and we could get post-ups, but I think with Turner, we have to screen well, we have to put her in motion and understand um, around the basket, we have to use counters um, because she's such a good shot blocker. So, you know, hopefully being aggressive, maybe getting a couple of foul calls early on her to limit kind of her aggressiveness, but she, she is a load on defense. She's a very good defender. Um, and then just wanted to ask, uh, closing, obviously with Talbot out, it decreases your wing depth at defense a little bit, but I was wondering if you thought that your, I was wondering if you thought your defensive scheme with the rotations, the switches gives you an advantage against all the back doors, the Spains, the stackers that Sandy likes to throw out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, we are, you know, they, they have their bigger guards in Cunningham and Walker. Um, but I think we have our, you know, we have Jordan. Uh, with her quickness to disrupt a little bit and not necessarily um, relying on our switches, more so relying on our traps and our reds and things of that nature to kind of get the ball out of Skyler's hands and make someone else make a play. Um, obviously, you know, the, the things that Sandy runs is amazing. Her her offensive <laughs> arsenal is is great, you know, so that whatever she throws out at us, it is important to kind of, um, you know, take care of the point of attack, whatever that is. If it's the Spain, you know, understanding that we have to communicate with the back screens coming, but the point of attack in that is the ball screen. So if we're, you know, being aggressive with Diggins, making sure we, we shore that up, you know, all the off ball actions that they run, just communicating. And if we do switch, um, then, then we know that we have our help and we have our rotations ready. So whatever, you know, we see, it's just a matter of communicating through it, knowing, you know, we want to be aggressive with those two. Gotcha. Thank you. Thank you. All right. I think that's it. Uh, Percy, do you have one more follow up or? Oh, you're good. No, I'm sorry. I'm good. No worries. All right. We'll talk to you uh, after the game. Thanks, everybody.